Okay, now I want you to imagine that you are the sun. In 2017, I just distinctly remember feeling really left out. I actually have this memory of feeling a little bit resentful <laughs> that I couldn't be a part of this eclipse in some way. That's an assistive technology manager at the Perkins School for the Blind in Massachusetts. And she's speaking ahead of this big total solar eclipse taking place on April 8th. Now, even though brands have come up with all sorts of unique ways to take part in the totality, Krispy Kreme's got a new Oreo-covered total solar eclipse donut, Sonic has an eclipse-themed slush, and you can even try to buy some spicy moon cheese-flavored solar eclipse sun chips during the 4 minutes and 27 seconds of the event. Good luck. But if observing an eclipse is largely a visual experience, how can people who are visually impaired take part in this event themselves? And not just by scoring a free Whopper. Well, how about like this? The... We developed a device called the Light Sound that essentially takes light and converts it to sound as a tool for the blind and visually impaired. That's an astronomer at Harvard University, and yeah, that sound you just heard is, well, what an eclipse sounds like. At least according to this Light Sound device. There's a light sensor on the back, so essentially it's measuring the brightness of light as it changes during the eclipse, as the moon eclipses the sun. So this Light Sound project is a collaboration between that Harvard astronomer and another astronomer who's blind, who regularly translates data into audio to analyze patterns for research. Back in 2017, a Light Sound prototype was used during a different total solar eclipse in North America, and in the years since, it's been making its way into the hands of more people across the country. We're gonna yeah, um, I think we hit the 100 mark. In March, volunteers across New England worked to build a bunch of these things. And the devices are going to be at public gatherings to observe that fun eclipse on April 8th. We're going to have these devices all along the path so people can experience it with sound. Now as for those sounds, even though some believe there's a man on the moon, this light sound device isn't teasing out his dulcet vocal tones. Instead, it's this, as demoed by this assistive technology trainer with the Perkins School. <laughs> Okay, yeah, well, I'm very surprised. I, was, I don't know what I was imagining, but I wasn't imagining this. Very interesting. So one option, you can hook this up to a speaker and then you can project the sound to an entire group. So we can kind of, as the sun is changing, this would be like the bright light of the sun. And then as it starts to dim, it goes away and the sound kind of gets lower. Then the shadow comes in and it gets even lower and starts clicking. The Light Sound Project hopes to get at least 750 of these things out to locations across the USA, Canada, and Mexico. And they've even got full instructions online on how to make one yourself. If this makes sense to you, have at it. And if it doesn't, and diagrams like those are why you studied theater in college, the Perkins Library, which is associated with the Perkins School, plans to broadcast the light sounds tones online and over the phone for this eclipse. The library says to reach out for them for more details. NASA notes it's gonna be 20 years before another total solar eclipse makes its way across the donuts, slushes, and sunship bags of the United States. And being able to witness April 8th's event by sight or by sound could be a memorable experience for all. It's going to be inclusive and having any technology that makes it possible for us to have an experience, an actual experience rather than somebody simply describing it to us is always fantastic. Even though we can't see something, it doesn't mean that we can't experience something. You know, we have a lot of different senses and different ways of um, enjoying different experiences um, and just because it's different doesn't mean that it's not worthwhile. I'm very excited about it. I'm definitely going to be a part of it this year.